What's up, everybody? It's S Fan here. I'm I'm sorry, my room's a total mess right now. I I've been up all night boxing hats, make Azeroth great again hats. I've been boxing the hats the whole time, but um, I'm really really excited to let you guys know. In case you hadn't heard already, um, Classic Hats is uh is going to BlizzCon. We uh we got approved for media passes for BlizzCon actually, and uh for those of you guys who've been following our streams, you might remember back whenever BlizzCon tickets were. Uh, whenever they first went on sale, Tip, Stay Safe, and myself were actually, like, camping the website and trying to buy tickets on stream, and we did, actually. Uh, Stay Safe was lucky enough to get through and get tickets for us, uh, which, honestly, like, that was pretty amazing. <laughs> uh, but, you know, not only was it completely unlikely, but also for all three of us to, like, get to go to BlizzCon for the first time ever, uh, like, that's that's a dream come true, man. That That is totally a dream come true. Uh, even whenever, like, I was totally out of the WoW scene for a while, like, I, I always wanted to go to BlizzCon, so that's, that's one of the things that, like, in and of itself is, like, amazing, but that's one thing, and actually getting approved for media passes, that's something on, like, a whole nother level, um, especially for me personally, kind of with my history of getting DMC'd by Blizzard and, um, uh, you know, getting banned, uh, streaming on YouTube. I, I got banned from streaming on YouTube almost a year ago. You guys know. Hey, it's not an S fan video if he doesn't mention that, right? Um, for streaming vanilla WoW private servers. But basically, what this means... What does this mean? What does this mean for you guys? Uh, Classic Cast is going to be given the privilege, myself, Tips, and Stacey, we're going to be given the privilege to provide exclusive WoW Classic content from BlizzCon to you guys right here on YouTube. Uh, obviously we know about the one classic panel that was put on the BlizzCon schedule, but I think getting these passes, it, I think it bodes well. It makes me optimistic that there's probably going to be a little bit more classic news than what's actually on the schedule. I and mean, we all know the, the classic announcement last year was a total surprise, right? So, uh, I would hope that there's going to be a little bit more classic news than that. And I, and I think... The fact that they uh, they approve media passes for us is a is a pretty good sign, uh, personally. Uh, something else that's going on that people should be really excited about is Wowhead. I, I, you might have missed it on Twitter if you guys are on Twitter or whatever. Wowhead announced that they're doing a classic site, which uh, is is awesome because it's it's Wowhead. They own Thoughtbot. They have access to the old databases, all this stuff. And now I had gotten the chance to talk to Wowhead a little bit, actually, over the course of the past month or so, maybe a little more, uh, just about classic and, and just like other random stuff. And just kind of talking about the different things that, uh, the different things that like, you know, different tools that they're going to have at their disposal and kind of what they still have. Like I asked them, they still have like a lot of the old Thoughtbot stuff. And, and it's so funny because they have, all the data that private servers have been and, and, and private server players have been going through the internet and like trying to scrounge up and find in every corner and every avenue of the internet that they can find like, Oh, like this little tidbit of information there, tidbit of information there. Wowhead has that. They, they own Thoughtbot. They have all the old stuff. They have their own old stuff from, from original Wowhead. So it's just not really out there yet. And you can't really, even like with Wayback machine and stuff, you can't find all that stuff. But for the most part, they have all that. So all that stuff that, like, I know when they said that, because I wasn't sure if they were actually going to, like, you know, provide, like, legacy comments or anything like that. And they said they're thinking about doing that. Um, that's kind of like the heavens open up and it's like, hallelujah. Like, that's something very, very exciting for me as, as an old school player. And I think a lot of people are, are going to be really excited about that, too, just to kind of be able to crack open the vault and see all this old stuff and old information that uh is accurate to the times right uh i think that's something that people are going to be really really excited about obviously it's free it's wowhead i mean that's it's a it's a tool for the community um really 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 excited about that uh something else is they're going to be working on different like tools like raid tools and and honor tools and stuff like that there's not really much out there compared to the tools that a lot of retail wow um players are provided with so for those of us in the classic community, that's something that, that we should all be very, very excited about, I think. And um, I don't know. Who knows? They might even make a ThoughtBot skin. I saw that they posted on Twitter a, a Wowhead ThoughtBot picture. 
But anyway, th this was basically just a quick update video and, and just kind of wanted to share with you guys. That's something we've been really excited about. We found out a few days ago and we we're like, do we tell them? Do we not? Do we, do we share it yet? And we said, hey, why not? Right. So um, thank you guys so much. Thank you guys so, so much for all the support you guys have given us. I mean, uh, just watching our channels, watching our live streams. I mean, it's uh, if it wasn't for you guys, Classic Cast wouldn't have grown. Uh, I mean, it, it just it just wouldn't have grown to, to what it is now. And um, to get the opportunity to go to BlizzCon with a media pass is, is really, really special to get approved for media passes. And uh, I mean, it's it's just it's just a media pass. Right. Part, part of me thinks it's just a media pass. Right. But um, at the same time, like I said, with, with my own personal history, the DMCA and stuff like that, that uh, makes me feel really good. Like I, I feel like uh, I feel like a lot of like validation out of uh, out of getting approved for a media pass and like just kind of seeing that working hard, doing things the right way, following the rules, seeing that it's it's really starting to pay off and uh, not worrying about all the bull crap and and whatever else is going on that people want to make up and and uh, whatever narrative people want to make up to push in their own minds. So. Uh, again, just thank you guys so much, and I can't wait to see you guys Sunday for our next Classic Cast.